Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. Today we are going to see how we can process media files using Azure Batch and Batch Explorer using template provided into Batch Explorer. So a lot of times we see that there are MP4 files and other files are there generated by some camera or some other things, but we need to convert that into different format to support different needs. So that is one scenario we are going to leverage and we will see how we can easily do uh, using Batch Explorer, Azure Batch. And in this demo, we will convert MP4s to MP3. For this demo, we are into Azure portal and we have already created a batch in previous demo. You can watch previous video. And we have two pools. One is Linux pool and one is Windows pool. If we go inside that one, we can see this is Windows pool. And if we go inside Linux pool, we can see this is Linux one. And also in previous video, we have run jobs using C Sharp and also we have done using Azure Data Factory. And we can go and see that one, how to do all that from that video. In this video, we are going to install Batch Explorer and we are going to see how it looks like and how we can create some task from that one. What are the different template is there? What are the different options we have? So let's go ahead and download this Batch Explorer and install that Batch Explorer. Any kidney. After signing, we have this UI for batch explorer. Now we have to create a new batch account, it is asking, or we can go ahead and add from a batch account also. This whatever subscription we have connected with my account after login, it gets all the initial whatever batch account is there, it comes and we can see that previously how many tasks we have run failed and what is the node states, what is the core quota and other things which we have. All the details is going to come here. How many core minutes we have used, what is the daily cost, what is that uh, we have done till now in job status, in pools, we have two pools, which package, MFF MPEG package installed. So we can see all these details is here. And once we go into jobs, we can see the jobs is completed and graphs for the job. It was job which we created for the previous demo. From here, we can schedule our jobs. In pool section, we can see that how many pools we have, what is the configurations and other things. We can see how many nodes are there. We can go ahead and look, have a look into that one. We can see the billing also. What are the different packages here? We can go ahead and upload the application package, certificate in data. All this is going to come from here. Interesting is that gallery. If we go into gallery and we can refresh this one, if it is not coming into first time, if you install, then you can see that this is a template provided to uh, work with 3D Max. 3D Max is a 3D modeling and rendering service software which help us to create massive uh, worlds in the game. If you see the stunning scenes, visualization, and other things, that's where this tools comes. My is another animation software, 3D animation software and simulation rendering software for high quality images and uh, graphics and other things, for including virtual reality and other things, right? Similar to these two options are there. Blender is another flavor of 3D creation suit for 3D pipelines, modeling, rigging, animation, simulation and other things. FFmpeg is which we have used in previous demo from C Sharp where we were using this FFmpeg to uh, convert our mp4 to mp3 and the same thing we will see in this demo also and similar thing we have image where if you want to resize a lot of collection image somewhere it is coming image in your pipeline thousand of images per minute or per hours and you want to resize that one based on your thing you can do that and in MPEG also, you can create animation from image that that is also FFmpeg support. So let's go ahead and create this, use this template from Exxon. And once we do, uh, it gives that option of run with job with auto ID, existing pool and other things. We have already existing pool. So we can go ahead and if you use these two 
create pool for later use and run job it will find that from where you have created and using that template it will create that okay it requires a windows pool or it requires a linux um, pool and other things that it will do i have already and i want to run on linux pool so i will go ahead and create run job with existing pool now if we go uh, we can see my two pools are listed here i will go ahead and select the linux pool and I will go give a name that FF MPEG conf, uh, convert we can give. And what is the input data will be there? Input data, let's create a new file group for that. And I will say that batch demo, uh, right? And let's put batch demo MP4. And which file it is going to do that one? So let's select, let's select the folder. Uh, I have something into MP so i will do that and it takes the first one we can go ahead and take some more and instead of doing that we can go ahead and select multiple folder from here files from here also so it will upload uh, on four let me go ahead and do five so three. and then we can have four we can use fifth one also because if a thousand is there it will run all the thousand times in the task right that is what parallel computing is there it is not going to run into sequence then we have file option uh we do not need that one so let it be right now i am going to create this and uh, it is uh, it is not exist this will create when job is submitted what is the output we are going to use so we can create an output group also mp4 mp3 output because this is going to convert into mp3 create empty file group we can say right now there is nothing so we can create that and now let's submit it is happening right now uh, it is zero percent where it is uploading all the files into blob so if we go and see that whatever blob at attached with uh, uh, this account uh we can go ahead and see that it is attached with uh, soft which blob one and we can see from here also once it go we can see i will show you and then if we go inside our blob account and if we go into container it will create this mp3 4 uh, and it will try to upload right now it is one it will upload from there right now it is being uploaded 20 percent so let's wait till the time it second is game and when we will see the output right now there is nothing uh, once we will run our jobs and other thing it will come so right now from very uh, good ui it is doing all these things if you have seen the previous video where we did using the similar thing using c sharp code now it says that is done now i'm going to run this one so let it run now if you see uh, it came into job section right now job is activated we have four five five files it has five tasks it is now it is into task waiting to start till the time we can also go inside our and let me refresh there is all five files here so we can go into batch and we can go into job section and we can see this is right now active it is running ffmg convert and it is running into if we go back here it is running into uh, linux pool because where we have submitted and if you see right now it got completed just now it, with the time we can see and here also if we go and try to refresh that we can see quickly that should be completed so let's wait some time so it will be completed we can go ahead and see that inside the task we can see that input output and what is the outputs and other things is there standard error and output file upload it has uploaded converting and then uploaded so let's see for all the five uh, it has done the same on the complete there is no error on that side so i think it will be done let's go into batch and here the left side if you see this job completed successfully when all the tasks completed it means that if it has completed all the task has been completed right now and if we go into that section uh, it, it is right now this ui is now all in uh, beta mode so that's why it takes some time to refresh all this we can go ahead and click the same details we can see from here what happened how it happened with input output what was that all the details is going to come 
for all we can see the similar thing over here itself and when we go to output right we given that output section and we can see that okay running completed all these details are coming and from here if we go into output section we can see into output if we go in details it says that what logs is uploaded from all these logs and then output section we can see this image is there uh, this uh, mp3 file came and we can download these files and we can save and then we can try to see that it is being played or not so that also we can see and this is mp3 file format sound so we can go ahead and can see that so yeah i can hear that one so that is perfectly fine it converted and we can go into our blob also to just double check that one into container and into output section here the same thing we can see in output all the file is coming and the logs logs are coming so that is how we can run using this uh, batch explorer the commands an interesting part that if you have interest into doing the 3d animation maya and running that one using this blenders and other things from modeling purpose you can run the large application large uh, rendering services inside azure using azure batch services and that is the real use case because if uh, in previous video we have done demo for splitting the data set that can be done into a spark or that can be done using other tools also but this is this is where it signs that azure batch services thank you mm -hmm.